the second coming of Jesus Christ. Hi, dear YouTube family. We're here with another amazing video made especially for you. Don't forget to click on the like button, turn on the notification bell to get notified when we drop a new video, and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you. Now, to the video for today, let the drums roll. Jesus Christ will return soon. Proof that the second coming will happen. This very topic takes us way back to one of the greatest events recorded in history, the birth of Jesus Christ. Not only did it defy medical norms, as his mother Mary was a virgin, but it also brought about a global transition. This was enough proof that he was no ordinary child. That baby, born in a manger, wrapped in clothes, was the Son of God. Isaiah 7:14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Now, it wouldn't have been fair if we had just moved to the end of the story without telling where it all began. That being established, let's move to the end. Jesus came to earth, and he fulfilled the mission for which he had come, being to save mankind. The scripture was very clear about the second coming of Jesus Christ. There are even more prophecies about it than there were prophecies of his coming. Jesus prophesied himself during his stay here on earth, and the prophets of old also did. It's a fact that he will return. However, no one knows the exact day of his return except God the Father. Every passing day sure brings us closer to it. Matthew 24, 36 but of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But there is good news. The scriptures left us signs, so when we see these signs, we know we are in the end times and the rapture is at hand. Mark 13, 29. So ye, in like manner, when ye shall see these things come to pass, know that it is nigh, even at the doors. The fulfillment of these signs is proof that Christ will return. Now the question is, are these signs already taking place? We'll find out. Here is the proof that the second coming of Christ will happen. The Word of God A prophecy is a divinely inspired revelation from God uttered by a man or woman known as a prophet or prophetess. Amos 3, 7 Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. These words belong to God as he alone knows the future. The men only serve as channels for the word to be delivered. God is not a man that he should lie. Therefore, any word he says will surely come to pass. Matthew 24, 35 Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Prophecies were made about the second coming of Jesus Christ. They are God's words, and so will surely come to pass. War Cries It is no news that some parts of the world today are now war zones. People are being killed daily, displaced from their homes, families separated. People have been thrown into fear and hiding, and things are not being as they used to. The ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine is a typical example of this. Matthew 24, 6 And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. These were one of the signs foretold by Jesus Christ, and it's happening right before our eyes. The Appearance of False Prophets this is probably one of the common happenings. Men and women have come up claiming to be Christ and deceiving people. They have given prophecies about the date of Christ's coming. Funny enough, those dates have all come and gone and nothing happened. These so-called prophets have come up and will continue coming up. It's just fulfillment of prophecy. However, as believers, we have been empowered with gifts of discernment to fish out the truth. Matthew 24, 11. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. Increase in learning and ease of communication. 
It is no news that the world has become a global village due to the invention of the internet. Daniels 12, 4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. People are now exposed to information anywhere and anytime, and communication and learning have been enhanced. Prophecies are being fulfilled, and it's proof that the world is gradually coming to an end. King Nebuchadnezzar's Vision The book of Daniel 2 recorded a dream had by King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. The dream was a mystery and was intensified by the fact that he had completely forgotten it. Daniel sought the face of God with his friends. God responded by showing Daniel the same dream in a night vision. Daniel 2, 31-36 Thou, O King, sawest and behold a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron, and part of clay. Thou sawest till a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon its feet that were of iron and clay, and brake them to pieces. Then was the iron, clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken into pieces together, and became like the shaft of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain, and filled the whole earth. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Daniel went ahead to give the interpretation of the dream. However, there was a striking significance in the interpretation. It was a prophecy linked to events that would happen in the end time. The interpretation signified kingdoms and empires that would reign from Nebuchadnezzar's time down to the second coming of Christ. The Spread of the Gospel this will be the climax of it all. Scriptures reveal that when God's word has gotten to all the nations of earth, then the end will come. Matthew 24, 14 And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Mark 13, 10 And the gospel must first be published among all nations, and all have a part to play in the coming of Christ. Like labor pangs in pregnant women intensifies when the time of delivery is near, so are these signs intensifying daily. This is proof that the end is near and it will surely come to pass. It is the most anticipated for Christians and would be the greatest in all of history. Let me know if you agree with me in the comment box. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Stay blessed.